What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so here is a very special episode. We're not only going to have two battles, but we're going to have a third battle, and that is a cutaway to the alternate battle that you will have in the second round of these playoffs. Now, I am currently playing Pokemon Sword, so we will be facing off against Gym Leader B. After we defeat her, we're going to be cutting off into the alternate you know, the alternate uh, battle, which will be in Pokemon Sword against the Ghost-type Gym Leader, Alistair. And then from there, we'll be taking on the final trainer to get to Leon, and that will probably be either Piers or Ryan. It doesn't matter. So, in our last episode, we actually had two battles. We actually had an impromptu battle against uh, B, or Bead. Yeah, that's what's, yeah, that's what his name is. You know, the guy that I thought was a chick. And the beautiful, yes, the beautiful Nessa. Hmm, she looks fine. Now in this episode right here, we're going to be taking on uh, B and Alistair. So in this one, we're going to actually switch out our Pokemon. Because of course, B happens to be a fighting type gym leader. So what is going to happen right here is I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, selective of the Pokemon that I want to use. Now, I did... In fact, uh, well, I didn't evolve Mr. Mime right here, Galarian Mr. Mime. So that is a big no-go. So we're going to be going with Relic. If you guys don't remember, Relic happened to be our Pokemon in Pokemon, uh, what was it called? In Pokemon uh, Crystal, I think currently in Pokemon Heart Gold. You know, that kind of stuff. And, well, we're going to be going... We're going to go in very, very deep into the Pokemon that we got right here. So let's go put Sparky back in there. Uh, you know what? We're going to be putting Hydra into this thing in the mix too because, uh, you know, it does have a move I like. And you know what? We need to bring Hydra or Relic back in there. Bonesaw has done his job, so we're just going to be switching them out. Of course, my, my Pokemon are scattered right now because... If you guys don't remember, the reason why it took me a long time to actually come out with these episodes is because I was actually, you know, training my Pokemon and, you know, doing other things right here, too. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to put Desert Storm into the mix here. So let's go ahead and put Aaliyah out. And then, let's see. So we got the... We got these three poke or four Pokemon right here. So now we got to replace maybe two more. And, well, look at that. We got Raphael. He's looking pretty He's looking pretty cool. But I kind of don't want to use him right now. And you know what? I might have to put this guy right here, too. Mr. Mime or Marcel, Bex. See, this is what happens when I get, like, a little too into the game right here. I start organizing crap, and that just... It gets real frustrating right there. So, let's see. We, we got to look for another Pokemon not organized right now. We can do that later. So, let's see. We could... Put, we could put uh, Shadow Chicken or Shadow Blade right here, or look at this, Gigalift. Now, I haven't given it its nickname yet, but this is Gigalift, and if you guys don't remember, we got this Pokemon in Pokemon Black and White, so we're going to be switching it out right here for Raiden. And who is going to take Optimus Prime's place right here? So, let's see. We're going to put Raiden back where he belongs. And... Let's go ahead, and you know what? We could, and you know what we are. We're going to be using Gaia number one in this one right here. Now I know I'm using a wide array of uh, psychic type Pokemon, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to get these. Uh, kind of just want to like feature them in in this walkthrough. I did say that I was going to like to showcase a lot of Pokemon. Now when I go ahead and take on Alistair, there might be a. Uh, Maybe one or two Pokemon of the same type or something like that. They will be featured and, you know, who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens. I do have all my Pokemon nice and trained up, so it's probably going to be a fun one in that episode or in that little part right there. I am looking for one Pokemon in particular right here that I kind of maybe, maybe, I kind of want to use Nessie, but that's probably going to have to wait until the next battle. All right, so you know what? We're staying put with what we got right here. So this is going to be the team that's going to go up against our good old friend, our girlfriend, our girlfriend, our, our other girlfriend, B. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and... You know what? Let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's start off with Relic right here. Now, i got to check these guys' uh, moves to see who needs... 
who needs a move change and all that stuff. So, Psychic is good, everything's good. Boom Burst, okay, these are good moves. Good moves as well. I fixed up those moves. This might have to change because, yeah. Dream Eater, Dragon Kiss, and yeah, okay, so we need to switch up a few moves before we go into battle. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and just change some of that stuff. Okay, so here we have Fly. Let's go ahead and give that to Gigalith right here. Or yeah, that's what we named him, Gigalith, and take away World uh, Whirlwind right there. Okay, so that's that. And let's see, what else do we need to do? Let's see, Magical Leaf maybe. There's Brave Bird. We could use that. Stomping Tantrum could have been uh, useful, but we're not going to use that. Hurricane, Hydra already knows that. Brave Bird, I cannot believe Gigalith cannot learn that. There's a Throat Chop. There's Dazzling Gleam, which I'm going to teach to Gaia because it is also a Fairy-type Pokemon. So let's take away that Draining Kiss. Now that I got two Pokemon, chances are we're not, chances are we're probably not going to be using Dumbledore at all. Let's see, Drill Run could be working, Alley, no, Grass Knot is, nah, we could use Grass Knot, maybe, nah, Flash Cannon, we don't want to get a little too ahead of ourselves right here, guys, because the thing is, we're only using these Pokemon once, and then after that, we're going to go straight into the next battle and stuff, so I don't want to get a little too crazy with the kind of moves that I'm using right here. Here we have Aurora Sphere, this is a damn good move. Dragon Claw, Hyper Voice could work. Yeah, Hyper Voice. You know what? Let's go with Hyper Voice. Let's go with the Relic right here. Now, let's see. I could Hyper Voice is a special attack, so let's go ahead and uh, yeah. Last Resort is not is not a move that I kind of want to use for my Pokemon. So let's do that. And let's see. There's a Shadow Ball. We got six of those little bastards, so let's go ahead and give one to Gigalith right here. And... Yeah, let's go with a skill swap right here. Alrighty, so I think I know what Pokemon I want to start with. I kind of do. And let's see, Crunch Attack. Yeah, I'm getting a little too crazy with these. <laughs> with these, a Waterfall for Hydro, we could use that. Psychic. Let's go with Psychic. Actually, we already know Psychic. Let's go with Gaia on Psychic. Now, if you guys don't know, my one of my favorite Hoenn Pokemon of all time it happens to be Gardevoir, or the Gardevoir line. Mainly because it, like, it turns into a Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon, and it just becomes the most reliable Pokemon out there. And, you know, I, I really, 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 really... I, I just, you know... it. It can you can use them for just about everything, and you know that's all like I can say about this Pokemon right here. So, yeah, if I I don't know, maybe someday, maybe one day, I will actually put a a team like a, a an all time team together for myself. That way, you guys know what team I, I actually do like or what Pokemon I, are my favorite all time Pokemon because I have been asked that before, and uh, you know I I don't think I've ever came around to actually telling you guys about it. So. We'll see. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think right there. So let's see. Uh, brick break. You know, I think we got everything taken care of. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, so enough of that. Let's go right ahead and take on our next girlfriend, which happens to be um, mm. Bead. And, well, we're going to be switching it out. We're going to go with Gigalith first right here. Eventually, I'm going to actually, you know, change up its, its name right there. So... Here we are going into the next gym challenge, or the next Elite Four challenge right here, and, well, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left in the last match. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite a surprise during the finals here at this year's Champions Cup as the former gym challenger beat Storm at the Sage, but Draven was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Gala Karate Prodigy. Let's hear for gym leader B, everybody. 
Good God. Mm. Oh my God. She's ready to go. I'm, 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 I'm ready to go. You know, you can beat me up if you want. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> I promise you my attacks will shake your soul this time. May the best trainer win. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Another battle, and good God. The Gala women are looking fantastic right here. So here it is, the next battle against Gym Leader B in Pokemon Sword Hawlucha. Both a flying and fighting fight Pokemon right here. And of course, getting ready for the uh, the, the Power Ranger stuff right here. So yes, oh wow, she, wow. Oh wow, she's ready to go right here. So, let's go strategic right here. Now, psychic types are normally very, very weak against physical attacks. So we're gonna be doing a reflect right here. And here, and here comes a bounce attack right now from How Lucha. Glad you did that because this is what's going to happen right now. Let's go fly attack because you're gonna miss and I'm not. So here we go, fly attack. The opposing Pokemon has missed, and here comes a fly attack for the win. Look at this. We're being very strategic. So either way you look at it, they're gonna take their time chopping us down. It ain't gonna work. So there it is. Bam. Pokemon are growing levels. Gaia as well. And it's learning Future Sight. Huh. Let's go ahead and take away Dream Eater for the time being. Because, of course, we, we don't have any hypnosis or anything like that. So there it is. Learn Future Sight. And she's about to come out with Surfetch. Let's go with Gaia right here. Now that it's learned a Future Sight, I might be, uh, might be able to do something like this. Uh. It might be able to, you know, screw around with this Pokemon just a tad bit right here. So here we go. It's quadruple weakness right here for, uh, you know, for this Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and start off with the Future Sight. Oh, yes, Future Sight. We're looking at you dead in the eye, and we, we're foreseeing a, for, uh, an attack. So here comes Leaf Blade, not so effective. And here we go, a Dazzling Gleam. Oh, yes. Dazzling Gleam for the win. Say goodbye to Surf Etched. Oh, yes. Yes, buddy. Yes. Okay, so the Reflect has worn off. So now she's coming out with a Grapple Lock. So let's go right ahead and go with Relic right here. It has been a while since we've seen Relic. Might as well show him right here in the 3D world for the first time. And look at that, Relic's looking fantastic. So here comes Rapalocked, his octopus looking look, uh, mother lover. And well, you got one more try. Let's go with a Psychic Attack, because the next Pokemon will not survive. So here it is, Psychic Attack, Rapalocked has been annihilated. Holy crud. Look at that, look at that, okay. Link. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and use Hydra number uh, number one, or just Hydra for short, right there. Now, I am planning on grabbing. I think I'm planning on getting all the the Hydras together and stuff. But here comes Phalanx, and Phalanx got a little something coming towards him, and it is coming uh, right after this Intimidate. Hopefully, maybe. And well, let's see. I could be an asshole and just go straight for a Hyper Beam, but you know what? Let's go Hurricane Attack. Oh, yeah, and it avoided it. And here comes a Rock Tomb, so we're getting hit, but guess what? We're lowering our speed. We're going to get the last laugh right here. So here we go, Hurricane Attack. Use no retreat. What the heck is this? Oh, wow. This is crazy. Okay, so it's Attack Rose, Defense Rose, Special Attack. Oh, crud. And it can no longer escape, but here comes our hurricane attack. And that nearly takes care of Phalanx, and it is confused right now. Where is the future side attack? Hyper Beam. Screw it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so we're, we're having our battle right here, but where is the future side attack? And... Huh. Future Sight should have already hit this Pokemon, unless I'm missing something here. And, well, there is Hyper Beam. That does some damage, and here comes Close Combat. Not so effective against a Flying-type Pokemon, believe it or not. This guy's not, or this guy's a Flying-type Pokemon. 
And where is the future side attack? I want to know where the future side attack is. I, I thought that... Yeah, okay. So I seriously thought that future sight was going to hit this guy. Where the hell is it? Comment down below, guys. Please, comment down below. This has become a battle. And I probably should have just stuck with one of my... Uh, yeah, I probably should have just stuck with one of my uh, psychic type Pokemon, but here comes another close combat. And that right there is not so effective. And its defense, its special def defense is going down. So here we go with our hurricane attack. And that takes care of that. Say goodbye to Felix. Oh, yes. Look at that. Okay, and here she's going to come out with a Machamp. So, let's see. Screw it. Desert Storm. Let's go with Desert Storm because it has not battled at all. And I did say I was going to feature every single one of these Pokemon in here, right? So here we go. Desert Storm, my Dragon-type Pokemon. Level 73, and she's like, it's time to dig into our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. She's looking mean as always, and look at this. Coming out with a Machamp. Now, this Machamp actually does have a bit of a... Yeah, it does have a bit of a, a, a special form when it when it Gigantamaxes. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what, what, what it is all about right here. So here we go, Gigantamax, my good old buddy Flygon. Look at this guy. He's looking big, big and bigger. Oh, yes. He's ready to go right here. And, well, you can see his real eyes right there. So here she goes. All right, fine. Just everything to destroy you. Okay. So here she is, Gigantamaxing her very own Pokemon right now. And here it comes. As you can see, this right here, this Machamp has his special form. And he looks freaking fantastic. Scary. Very, very scary. So here we go. Who's going to attack first? Of course, Max Worm Wind or something? Worm Wind? And that nearly takes out Machamp. And, well, it lowers its attack and everything else. And she's looking at you. She's like, G-Max Cheat or Key Strike. Holy crud. Okay, so here's Key Strike turning into a Super Saiyan. And that right there hits me pretty hard. And that will increase its... Uh, oh, wow, it's getting pumped. So now it's looking for a critical hit. So let's go ahead and finish this girl off with another of the same attack. Max Wormwind. And there we go, Machamp has been defeated. What now? Oh, uh, yes. No mercy. No mercy whatsoever. Look at that. Okay, okay, so... We feel very accomplished. So there goes Gym Leader B, and I am throwing out another peace sign, and she... Mm, she looks fantastic. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. Yes. And, of course, she is graceful in defeat, so that's also a good thing, right? B has been defeated. Challenger Draven has shown his skill. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and refreshed. In a way, I guess you could uh, say it was the best for the sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope that you meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that one day one of your encounters will nourish your spirits. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in the, those seats, folks. And, well, as you can see, it's number one versus number one, Draven. And in the biggest rematch ever against Ryan right here in the last match. Ryan def uh, gloriously defeated Piers. So that right there is it. And well, once you take care of that, you can hear Piers going, Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Draven. I thought my bro could uh, get revenge for me, but he lost to Ryan. You look so sloppy out there that people are going to think we're both weak sauce. Or weak cuz. We're related. You got it wrong, sis. Ryan was just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle was without using a Dynamax can be. All right, I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. 
I'm counting on you to win, Draven. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Ryan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a good, uh, uh, right good battle. Okay. Alrighty. So, before we can get to the last, last battle, guys, against Ryan, we're going to go into a cut string to Pokemon Shield. Now, I'm going to show you who you battle in the second round, and that happens to be Alistair. So, I'll be right back for that little part of the whole battle right here so I'll be right back okay guys so here we are in Pokemon Shield and we are about to go face Alistair the gym leader or the ghost gym leader uh, that we faced a few episodes ago now here we are in shield version and we're gonna take a look at our team right here now they're all above level 70s I did not train them as high as I did with my Pokemon Swords team because well obviously they're on my regular uh, switch not my switch light and all that crud but we're ready to go we're ready to kick some butts take some names and dominate right here so here we go let's go right ahead and kick some more but man how many matches do we have do not know alrighty so your boy walking in for his people right here I hope, it, I hope my theme song comes out you know Stone Cold Steve Austin get shattered glass BAM and then the crowd just goes crazy as you can see we are ready for the second match of the finals and of course there are four remaining challenges with two left in the last match and of course there you are your boy Draven ready to kick some ass take some names right here and well there's not much for me to actually read on this but the challenger we're going to be taking on Alistair right here remember guys if you're playing Pokemon Shield you will be facing Alistair in the second match if you're playing Pokemon Sword you will be facing the sexy uh, B I think mm, B that's right Mmm, Alistair. You look well. I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had. Er, uh, so I reckon we, we, we should, 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 should battle. Alright. So we're gonna be battling right here. Look at this. He's acting all ghostly and gothic-like and all that stuff. So here it is. Another match against gym leader Alistair. Let's do this. And of course, he's coming out with Dusnor. Now, his team is buffed up. Lots of ghost type Pokemon. Very, very strong Pokemon, may I add. Dusnor, of course, is a the evolution of uh, what? Dust. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Dust. I can't even remember. Dustclops. Yeah, Dustclops. And a homie here is uh, very strong. Has pressure and all that stuff. But guess what? I got myself my False Surrender. So, Beelzemon use the Corona Destroyer. There goes Dustnor. Now, some of you guys may be saying that, yeah, you kind of overtrained in Shield version 2. Not really. I actually did everything I, I could for all my Pokemon. So, let's go with Deadshot right here, the starter Pokemon for my Shield version. And, well, look at that. He's looking like uh, 007 right here. Deadshot ready to take on Chandelure, Pokemon from Unova. So, let's go right ahead and, well, let's go with the snipe shot right here. What's going to call it dead shot, dead sniper, I don't know. What was the name that I, I wanted to call this Pokemon? Completely forgot, but it's a pretty good name right here. Dead shot right here. There goes Chandelure, going back to the Unova region right there. And, well, more Pokemon are getting experience points. So, he's going to be coming out with Poltegeist. Let's go right ahead and take out a new Pokemon right here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go right ahead and use Drago, the Pokemon right here. Pokemon that I've, uh, you know, been wanting to use in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which, believe it or not, will be coming out pretty soon here. So here comes Poltegeist, looking like a big pot of tea, ready to destroy me and all that stuff. But guess what? Got myself a Dragon Claw, but Poltegeist, with its protect attack, it's going to protect himself. Look at that. Oh yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and do this again, Dragon Claw, let's go right ahead, and Dragon Claw for the win, say goodbye to Pulte, guys. yeah buddy, and look at that, Get Deadshot grows to level 76, and it's always good, and well, he's going to be coming out with a Cursula, huh, let's go with Blitzkrieg right here, the alternate version of Blitzkrieg, I think it was the low, uh, the bass version of it, so here we go, Fast version, Blitzkrieg, ready to bop it. Of course, the Ramones. 
comes he comes to my end. And look at that, Cursula looking all mean and everything. Let's go right ahead and use Overdrive now. Cursula is not a water type Pokemon, but still, this attack can actually get a critical hit right now. And there goes Cursula. Oh yeah. Okay, alrighty. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon again. Um, you know what? Let's go with Marcel right here, Mr. Rhyme. I know it's weak against Ghost type Pokemon, but there's still something I kind of want to use, for, or there, there's some, some moves that I want to use. My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. And here he comes out with a Gengar. Now we all know what Gengar's weakness is. Screw it. Dynamax Pokemon, Max Mindstorm. Gengar is not only a ghost type Pokemon, but it is also a poison type. So let's uh, Digivolution Gigantic Max right here. And he's growing, uh, growing, and growing. Look at that. Looking all smiley and everything. Wow. Holy crud. Looking at that evil smile on his belly. Gengar, Gigantic Max, swallow everything in darkness. Ooh. Okay. Look at this guy. Tossing his Pokeball. And here we have an alternate form of Gengar. Big Mouth Gengar. Holy crud. Now, this Gengar right here might have a personalized attack as well. But Marcel's got Max Mindstorm. And that takes out Gengar. One, two, three. There you go, guys. Defeated him that easily with a dancing Mr. Rhyme. Oh, yeah. He's burning up like a volcano right there. Oh, yes. Say goodbye to Mr. Rhyme. And, well, look at that. Okay, so there goes my Pokemon. And just like that, we are the victors in Shield version. That's right. Look at that. Now take off the mask, homie. Maybe my mask kept me from seeing how do, how strong you really are. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Okay, so we've done it again, and we've defeated Alistair to qualify for the next match right here. And, well, Alistair's going to be like, Crumbs, that was ace. Give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Huh, really? He's mad about strangers? Huh? Okay. Okay, so will it be I pass at Dynamax and Pierce or the Dynamax Lord himself, Ryan? We all know who's going to win this one right here. But as you can see, we have qualified to the next matchup, the final matchup, to take on the, uh, the champion himself. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for, well, the, the last match against Ryan right here. That way you guys can see how good it's going to be. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so what did you think of that? Kind of crazy. I don't know. It was kind of crazy, kind of like the opponent that we faced in Pokemon Shield. But that is exactly what it looks like when you battle Alistair. So now here we are back in Pokemon Sword, and uh, we're going to be facing Ryan, Ryan, or I can't really pronounce his name right, in the final battle of these playoffs for the Pokemon League. As you guys may have remembered, he is the last gym leader. He is a dragon type gym leader. And, well, he doesn't exactly have all dragon type Pokemon. So, you got to be very, very specific about the Pokemon you choose right here. So, what's going to happen right now is I'm actually going to be switching up my Pokemon right here to this, uh, for this match in particular. Now, he does come out with five very good Pokemon Torkoal, Gudra, uh, Tur, uh, Turton, Turtonator? I can't even pronounce that one right there. Flygon and Duraludon. So we got to go with specifics with, uh, well, specific Pokemon for this kind of event right here. So what's going to happen is, yes, our good old buddy Lucky is finally going to get his chance to actually uh, take on somebody right here. Now, I don't know why I switched out... Uh, Hydra, but we do need Hydra in this battle right here. So we're going to be putting everybody in this one. And there we go. And guess what? We're going to be using Bex right here because I've always wanted to use Bex. Seems like a Pokemon that we kind of need in this kind of battle. And there is another Pokemon around here that we definitely need. And that is our good old buddy, 
Nessie. Now, Nessie is the Lapras, and it, look at that, level 74. You can't tell me that this Pokemon can't take any hits right here, so I'm going to go with that. And we're going to be putting it, we're going to be organizing her right here. So that leaves us with, well, that leaves us with uh, one, well, that leaves us with a, a nice team right here. Uh, let's see. There is one, there is one Pokemon that kind of, I kind of want to switch out. And that is Desert Storm. But that would be... That, 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 I don't think that would work right there. So I think this team would actually be proper because of the type advantages and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. What? Who haven't I used? Or who have... Now, I would... I would go for, for Mr. Mime right here, but... It's uh, Mr. Rhyme in the other version. I could trade him over, but... I don't think I would be allowed to do that. So, let's see. Deadshot... Eh, well, we already got our water type Pokemon. We got our ice types and our fairy types. Is there another Pokemon right here that, you know, we haven't used? Let's see. Hmm. Huh. We could always use... Uh, we, we, we could always use Tank right here, but... Tank is for a very, very, very special occasion. If need be, and all that stuff. And here I am again, organizing my, my stuff, so... Let's see. We got Budkiss and Zoro, which we do not need. Yeah, I think we got the I think we got the right team for this whole this whole uh, situation. Now let me just uh, there we go. So let's go right ahead and take on Ryan one last time. Now the Pokemon that we will be starting off with is Lucky. Now if you guys may have remembered Lucky, we got him in Pokemon Crystal. We got him in Pokemon Heart Gold. Guy can't find a. Can't really uh, catch a break, mainly because we always seem to switch them up for Nessie. And for good reason, and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and finish off this whole playoff system battle kind of thing right here. And take on our good old buddy, Ryan. So, it's been a long time coming, guys. We've already battled twice. Here's the last one, and here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the Brilliant Rising Star, Challenger, Draven? Or will it be the only trainer that Le uh, Champion Leon calls his rival? The Tamer of Dragons, Ryan. Well, there he is. Round two. It's kind of like UFC. It's like, you know, when they, when they fight for the first time and it turns out to be a rivalry, it's just epic for the next one right here. So, here we have Ryan. You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the, all the way here. I, get, I guess that's the way Champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I am to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking what uh, that you beat me once already. But if you think I'm uh, the same Ryan you faced during Gym Challenge, you, you'll soon regret it. Okay, whatever you say, homie whatever you say so here it is guys battle number two against ryan the uh dragon type gym leader and here he is rework this team he's coming out with his torkoal oh yes i was ready for this one and yes lucky he's going to get his his uh, chance to shine right here finally for the first time ever we are using our good old buddy lucky for this kind of battle now as you can see he does have drought this actually minimizes the water type moves and, of course, ice type moves. So let's go right ahead and start off with an earthquake attack because mainly water type moves do not work well with the drought. So let's go ahead and bam, hits Torkoal pretty effectively. And here comes a solar beam attack. That right there, oh god, that is going to mess us up because, yes, Torkoal is, or no, not Torkoal, but Lucky is both a... He's a water and ground type Pokemon, and he somehow survives that. So here we go. Water gun attack for the win. Come on. And it does it. Oh, my God. Lucky survives that big time attack to get one water gun off. Probably should have switched off the moves right there. So now he's going to be coming out with a Flygon. So I got to switch my Pokemon up. And, yes, I do have a good move just for this guy. We're going to be switching up this whole drought shit for a rain dance right here so here it is he 
Ryan right here relies on his uh, on his drought just to get his Pokemon off. So what's going to happen now is I'm just going to change it up just a tad bit for everybody to see right here. So let's go with the Rain Dance. That way he doesn't go for anything. And, well, he's relying on his Sandstorm right now. But unfortunately for him, he's going to be surprised right now because the Sandstorm is not going to work. He likes to use these elemental moves to his advantage. So here we go, Rain Dance, just to take away that Sandstorm. And look at that, he is not happy. So let's go right ahead and go with an Ice Beam attack right here. And of course he's going to try and go for another Sandstorm. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, his Drought and his Sandstorm work for two specific Pokemon right here. He technically is a, is a double battle specialist. If you were to have Torkoal and Turtonator together, it would work perfectly just because of that whole, you know, that whole drought. But this Handstorm right here actually works better with Duraldon. If you guys don't remember, yeah, we kind of have a little, we had a little bit of an issue with, uh, we did have a little bit of an issue with uh, Duraldon in the beginning. So now he's coming out with a Gudra. So let's go right ahead and switch it out with our good old buddy Gardevoir or Gaia. So here it is. And for sure, and for sure, he's gonna come out with a rain dance right here. So that's his, I guess that's his spiel right there, changing the elements and all that stuff. But he won't get anything off right here. So let's go with a dazzling gleam for the win. Look at this. No mercy for the wicked. And yes, he's coming out with a rain dance. Yeah, he's trying to power himself up. Either way, he can he can do it. Now, if he goes back to Turtonator, he's gonna be going with another uh, drought or sunny day right here as you can see he's just letting me know what these things do unfortunately for him dazzling gleam does its trick finish him look at that no more gudra now some of you guys may be saying that i may overtrain my pokemon but nah i you know i just prepared my pokemon for this so here he comes out with turtonator let's go with our good old buddy hydra i think it does have water type attacks I want to be sure. Ah, oh, crap. It probably doesn't have a water type attack. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, so. Tritonator. Coming out. Ready to go. And, well, let's see. Intimidate. He's right there. Lowers his attack. And, well, I was right. It doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't have any water type attack. So let's go off with an Ice Beam attack right here. And... That right there gives it something. So here comes a sunny day. Trying to power itself up. This guy, of course, is going to cut. He's going to keep on saying what these effects do. So look at that. Hey, sunny day. Have you a plan to encounter it? Yeah, this guy likes to just. Yeah, he likes to be very specific with his stuff. So let's go with the hurricane attack. And what the heck is that? Shell trap. Okay, so here we go. Hurricane does not work. So here comes a share trap. Does not work right here. So. Going with another shell trap. This turtle nader is just ridiculous. So here we go. Hurricane nearly defeats turtle nader, and that did not work out. So let's go ahead and be assholes. Hyper beam attack, FTW, and wow, this guy—he's not letting things go. So here we go. Hyper beam for the win. Bam. Finishes him off, kind of like Goku did with Majin Buu. No more Terminator. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. P Pokemon are growing levels. And now he's going to be coming out with a Duraldon. So let's go with Bex right here because this is the one Pokemon that I was actually struggling with when I battled this guy in both versions. So this is the first time we're ever using Bex. And, well, he's like the great Ryan. I'll be the one to beat Leon first. So here we go. Duraldon. This is scary right here because this Pokemon is very sturdy. So we're going to use a little bit of a max knuckle right here just to beat this guy. Now it does have both Dragon and Steel type capabilities. Its physical defense is high, but its special defense, not that great. Remember the entry? Yeah. It, uh... What was it? It rusts very easily. So we're going to Gigantamax our Pokemon right here. And look at that. Goal. Holy crud. Okay, so... 
Here he is, ready. Bring on the storm. My partner will send everyone in the uh, stadium flying. So here he is, about to. Gigantamax is Pokemon while taking a selfie. Look at that, that smug asshole. And take a look at what we're taking on right here, guys. This is a. Uh, holy crap. This is. I, I, yeah, I. I sure didn't miss you right here. So here we go. Let's go with the Max Knuckle. Get it, get it, get it. And that nearly takes care of him, but that doesn't work out so well. But it does increase our attack. And here comes a Max Rock Fall. That right there is going to be a bad, bad thing for us because, wow, ground type move. Uh oh. And because of that, now a Sandstorm has kicked in. And this actually, well, it, yeah, it really does not benefit us right there. And then, so here we go again. Let's go with the Max Knuckle. Now that our attacks increased just a tad bit, here we go. And this finishes off Duraldon. Max Knuckle for the win. Say goodbye. What now? And because of that, Pokemon grow levels. And yes. The man who will be taking on Leon for the championship happens to be your good boy. Your boy right here, Draven. And he's like, losing in this finals is pretty rough. But I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. I guess so. I don't know. Challenger Draven seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I become much stronger than we uh, were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I had imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number six, Challenger Draven has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. And look at that. The playoff bracket is set, guys. I'm going to be taking on Leon right here now. Wow. Holy crud. It took us quite a few episodes, but we managed to do it. And here's Hop, and he is not happy. He's jealous. He's like, he's seeding out the mouth right here. All right. The big moment's finally here, Hank. Hey? I came just to cheer, on, uh, cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all... It's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want, or who should I really want to win more? Uh, well, me. Because, you know, remember a few episodes ago, I, yeah, never mind. I molly you. Destroyed you. I ended you. I took your soul to the Shadow Realm. That's what I did. Don't you ever forget that. What? Oh, something's going on right here. Right. You reckon I should cheer for Draven too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together my way back in Postwick. You better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. What? Well, he's on to the stands right there now. Just when you think it's almost over, we got a little something going on right here, guys. So... Let's go right ahead and switch out to our regular Pokemon. Now, we did, holy crap, we did a fantastic job showcasing some Pokemon that, you know, we've used in other versions and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm proud of it. Very, very proud. But now it is time for us to go back to the Galarian Pokemon that brought us here. Uh, because, uh, yeah, there is a little something that's going to happen right here, and I kind of don't want to miss it. We're going to finish it off right here in this episode. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens at the end right here. Uh, I'm getting a lot of text messages right now, which is ridiculous, too, because, yeah, very busy, busy, busy man. And, well, here we go. Get this guy right here. All righty. So let's go straight into the next round right here, the quote-unquote next round, and uh, see what happens. Because trust me, guys, there's not another battle. All righty. So as soon as we come out to the pitch... Who else but Leon to wait for us? And of course, he's all stoic and cocky. And it, I don't know how his uh, his uh, his cape is waving and all that stuff. There's no wind in here. It's in his stadium. How how does he do that? I don't know. The tents still air on the pitch. 
And the exact opposite from the audience. The audience. Cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with no fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our Pokemon, or the rest of their team, We'll use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Well, here it is. It's time, guys. It is time for another battle against the champion, Leon. But hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What is that on the big screen? Uh-oh. So, this happens. Chairman Rose is having a little bit of a nice time right here talking about the darkest days the darkest day of Galar and of course he's talking about the energy he's releasing on the darkest day and now BAM holy crud so as you can see guys from every single gym we're having energy beams spew out and because of that, we are unable to have a championship battle with Leon. All thanks to Chairman Rose. Lee! Draven! The video stream. That was, the f that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized that the chairman intended to do this before it came to this. I'll take this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. Huh. It's your real champion time, huh? But, Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? Hmm. I want to help my brother, Draven. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? I don't know, man. You are kind of the Yamcha of this whole thing, so... Yeah, you are right. Why are you even here still? I'm just gonna be like, just drive. But what? What could I even do? Hold the phone! The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing that where, where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing a, uh, that about? And where did he even hear that, that name? I'm thinking it was from Motostoke, but I want to say it's the statue of the hero. The statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonya said something back then, didn't she? Though it didn't, it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes in all that. Still, those two managed to bring the end of the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should try and find them, Draven. But where do we start looking? Oh, I don't know. Probably in uh, the slumbering wheel. That's it, Draven. I'm sure it's got to be in the slumbering wheel. That illusion you tried to fight off that day? It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wheel. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Okay. Alrighty. So, because of that, guys, we are not going to have a championship battle right now. That is going to have to wait for maybe an episode or two. Maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> so here is, a, well, hello, hello, my girlfriend Sonia here. And she's like, huh, Draven and Hop. I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? And Mama's here. She's like, haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that. And is sending the entire region into into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wield? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry about much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? 
Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region into ruin in ancient, in ancient times. So what are you? So what are you here for, Draven? I'm here to search for the sword or shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to break or to beat back the the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should be. You should head into the slumbering wield. I'll catch up with you uh, once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. And here we have uh, three more max revives. Thank you, girlfriend. And well, we're gonna be going into the slumbering wield, which, well, shit's about to get crazy, guys. It really is. All that matters is that you both, or that you do what you can. You become a fine trainer, after all. I'm glad that our mom believes in us and all that stuff, too. So, Hop is here saying, ready for this, Draven? Sure. I wonder if we were about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it bothers us now. We've both grown loads stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wooloo that day, that was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's hit in and add an, an, another page to our tale. Okay, alrighty. So, we're going to stop right here, guys, because uh, this gets a little crazier. Now, a lot of the footage, a lot of the footage right here is going to be on Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, I'm going to try my best and... Uh, you know, like, incorporate both Sword and Shield's footage for both Pokemon. But mainly, I'm probably going to be mainly playing uh, Pokemon Sword. Uh, just to show you, uh, or just to talk over and all that stuff right there too, guys. So, in the next episode, there's going to be a lot going, to be, a lot going on. We're going to be finding the legendary Pokemon. We're going to be battling some more trainers. Maybe even capturing here, there, a uh, legendary Pokemon ourselves. And then... I don't know. We'll see what happens at the very end right here. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all your patience. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. See you guys.